everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm trying something different so I'm just gonna go straight into it sit back relax I'm gonna show you a video from about six years ago and this is um, intense cafe from Montel I love the chocolate in here um, let's find a bit of skin Ooh. so with the Montels generally you will get an oil that settles on the skin uh, they're very highly concentrated with oil um, and this doesn't shock or surprise me it's really oily this is very rich and it might become cloying to some noses a lot of rose it's a different kind of rose again from the rose that's in uh, decadence and um, chocolate vanille I'm not an expert on roses I could never tell you it was Bulgarian rose or Otto rose or whatever I would say the rose is just denser, richer, thicker, more obvious. Definitely not soapy. More Turkish delight kind of rose. You've got chocolate, you've got a coffee note in there. A lot of people argue that there's no coffee in Intense Cafe. And that is very subjective because I always notice the coffee in there. It's quite light. It's almost like... Um, if you ground coffee down to a powder and then just like threw it in the air, it's a transparent coffee. Um, it's not a, it's not like smelling a dark cup of coffee right up close. This dries down, you get a lot of vanilla. The rose and the chocolate stay um, for the duration. This is the longest lasting out of all of these, 10, 12, 15 hours. And it's really, really good. I've had it a long time. I, I don't reach for it a lot, but when I do, I always wonder why I don't, if you know what I mean. So Montel's Intense Cafe is a big thumbs up for chocolate lovers. And this is one where it, the chocolate's not overpowering. It just, again, it's like a powdered cocoa powder. Um, imagine you've got your uh, latte, very milky latte with foam on top and um, a sprinkling of cocoa powder on the top of that and there's definitely a shot of vanilla running through and then roses everywhere that is intense cafe in a nutshell okay then so here is modern day claire and my idea is to re-evaluate intense cafe by montau and kind of pick at that old review and the first thing I have to say is my hair's changed. This is now pretty much my natural hair. It's uh, lots of gray and some lots of dark. So that's one thing. I do think my hair looked awful in that video. It looked like a bad home dye job because pretty much that's what it was. I don't think those colors were permanent though, the bright red, pinky red color. I, that was probably a washout thing. However, I hate it. I really don't like that. Although I do want to grow my hair longer again because it's kind of in between lengths at the moment. I think it looks all right on camera, but it's bits of it around the back that have lost its curl a little bit. And it's just, so yeah, I want to grow it longer, but I don't really want to go back to dyeing it. <laughs> so there's that. And then there's my teeth. I got my teeth straightened quite a few years ago now and obviously not not six years ago they were not straightened and also some other work um, which I won't bore you with but I'm so pleased I got my teeth done so I'm so grateful that um, life has sort of life has been good to me the sort of last few years I've got a new job and I was able to pay for my teeth to be done and I'm so pleased that I did. So I'm not just I'm not slagging off six six years ago, Claire, because she's still me. I love her, and I love, but I love me. <laughs> I love modern day Claire as well. That's a re very weird thing to say, but we should all love ourselves. Oh, and the camera angle. Let's not even do that. So I've learned a bit more about the camera angle since then. Never aim the camera up. If you've got any fat around here whatsoever, uh, looking up at your face is not good. <laughs> so 
There we go. Right, well, we're here to talk about the actual fragrance, my thoughts on it then and my thoughts on it now. So I do still have that very same travel size, which tells you straight away that I don't use it that often. But I wanted to just give you an updated review on it because that video, I put it, that was actually a part of a chocolate fragrances video so I only did, did a mini review on Intense Cafe but that's the first thing I would say I would change now is that I don't think it's that chocolatey it doesn't officially have a chocolate note at all but I used to I think I used to think it was more chocolatey and I'm wearing it right now you can probably see the shininess <laughs> on my chest because this is one of those really oily perfumes in the same way that clone brands when they make fragrance it comes out as an oil slick and Montel fragrances do that too and another thing I would say that I didn't mention in that old video is that the fragrance doesn't smell like real classic nuanced perfumery it has a little bit of a clunkiness like those clone houses do where things just don't feel that delicate or changeable as well it's not a journey of a fragrance it really it's quite linear so I would say that as well so my review of Intense Cafe now is actually that it is still in my opinion a really beautiful fragrance I would call it a rose vanilla primarily a very light hint of coffee and it does smell gently slightly chocolatey to my nose as well I do think there might be some woody amber type aroma chemicals but they aren't overdone they don't make it go dry and scratchy I couldn't tell you specifically that I smell any particular molecule but there's definitely probably there's definitely probably I would say that it's highly synthetic but not in a way that smells bad just in the fact that if you really smell it and think about it there's nothing really there that smells like it comes from nature. It's very vanillic, and for all I know, the vanilla could be natural, I, I doubt it. The vanilla's quite sweet and not particularly nuanced. It's a very smooth, and it's, it's very nice, don't get me wrong, but it's not particularly spicy or particularly nuanced. So what I would say is, for me, I just get this blend of a, a, a rich, almost jammy rose I don't know that I would necessarily say it's jammy but it verges on jammy so a rich red rose mixed with vanilla it's a little bit clean musky and just that tiny hint of coffee that you sometimes can smell and sometimes you can't and that's kind of it with probably teeny tiny bit of an ambery woody thing in there the longevity is excellent I haven't worn it for a long time but I know that it does really last and I think no one will argue that Montel's in general because of the high concentration of oils generally speaking they are beast mode fragrances I don't think it's obnoxious though if you don't go too heavy on the sprays I've only got a few from that small travel size so just found here and it is not drowning me out it is not too heavy I actually think it's a very attractive fragrance I think it's the sort of thing that I would pick if I wanted a crowd pleasing scent it would be the sort of fragrance I would recommend for a date night it's quite rich and sweet so I would stick to autumn winter or chillier uh, spring days maybe and chillier summer nights but really it, it's a cozy scent because it's so rich with that vanilla I'd say the vanilla is probably the main smell that you get vanilla closely followed by rose and then all the other things that are more lightly done and that's really it it's, it's nothing 
amazing it's no masterpiece it's not particularly nuanced it doesn't really evoke too much of the imagination but as a functional fragrance if you just want to smell really really good and you love rose and vanilla then i think it's definitely one to try there is a newer version out which is the intense cafe ristretto and i haven't tried that one so i don't know anything about that if you've tried the ristretto version let me know in the comments below if it's worth checking out do you prefer one or the other i would love to know and please tell me if you like this this format of mine i'm trying something new and i'd love to know was it too cringy to look at six years ago me was it awful i'm happy for you to laugh at me i'm laughing at myself just let me know if you enjoyed that or not because that will help me decide whether to do more like that either way i'd love you to give me a thumbs up for trying to come up with something new i'm trying to I, i'd like to grow my channel i'm a slow grower for someone to have been on youtube over 10 years probably more like 12 or something now i don't <laughs> i don't really do that well <laughs> And I know there's probably all sorts of reasons for that. I'd love your criticism and your suggestions to help me, if you think you can help me, to uh, grow my channel in terms of getting more views and subscribers. I would really love any advice that you have. And yeah, that's it really. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.